something different. Now today, I went out, I bought an Xbox One, and I've decided we are going to do a Sea of Thieves video, because it's the game everyone is talking about, and for good reasons, it is a really good game. Now, I'm going to get started now by waiting for this to load, and I'm just going to, in this video, I'm just going to show you how the game works, you know, how to play it, the basics, and there'll be plenty more videos to come about, um, you know, further adventures, different things like that. I do apologise, I said to you all, Empire was this weekend, I've got it confused, it's next weekend. So I was sitting in my room yesterday, all excited, ready to go, all packed, and then I had a, well, I didn't have a text, I rang my mate, so I was like, it's getting, it's getting on a bit now. And I left that then. And I was, I was quite gutted, to be honest with you. I mean... I rang him, I said, oh, uh, you know, what's happening with laugh? are you coming to pick me up for Empire? And he said, no, no, um, it's, it's next week you had, uh, so I was like, oh shit, I've packed everything, my tent, everything, and I was gutted, so i got to wait till next week now, so that video is still coming up next week. So you start off as you come in to see a thieves with, uh, yourself, and you start off in like a little pub place. Oh, I don't exactly know how this works. I'm sure you can sit down. Somehow. Sit. Yeah, there we are. Look, that's how you sit. So we can sit down with our food. There's my pirate. He is pretty cool. Captain Ryan there. Right, so we're going to get up now. Hopefully I'm not sitting down now. Uh, this woman is my best friend. Her name's Tracy. And she always gets me pissed. So what you do is you hold down LB get to this menu now you've got things on there like your compass you've got bananas you can eat for health cannonballs obviously self-explanatory there you shoot them around your ships planks to repair your ship you've got telescope a shovel that's for treasure you've got a lantern a bucket to get rid of the water of the ship now if you notice there's an x if you press that you've got extra things like um you've got a clock You've got a tankard, you've got musical instruments, so like you see people doing this. And they're having, you know, fun times on their ships. Uh, but yeah, what Tracy likes doing is she likes giving me beer and getting me drunk. Don't know, Trace, admit it. Admit it! Ready when you are. No problem. Oh, ready when you are. She's racing me now. Right, so we're gonna get started now. Um, we can pick up stuff out with these crates, sucks to see cannonballs. So I'll take as many cannonballs as I can, and then what you can do is you can put them on your ship. Same as bananas. Right, I am drunk, that's why I'm walking everywhere. I'm holding the controller still, and I'm moving. That's what happens when you're drunk. Right, now, I've talked to this guy before, he just says, uh, basically you've got to make a name for yourself. Uh, I haven't got further than that with him yet, so I don't know what else he does. Now, I'm going to try and get through this door while I'm drunk. There we are. We're out, we're out, we're out. If I eat a banana, it might sober me up. Oh yeah, I can walk a bit better now. A bit better. Right, so this place here, I'm trying to show you when I'm drunk, is the equipment shop. So you can go in here, look, uh, for example, and you can buy things like buckets and, and the accordion things, whatever they're called. Uh, torches, they're, they're pretty cool, I think. Um, I haven't really bought much on you, I've just bought like clothing. But from what I know, is they all do different things, like um, with the shovels, I think it digs up quicker. The lanterns are brighter. The mu I think you get different music as well with the it's different accordions. Or the hurdy gurdies or whatever people call them. But yeah, you can buy them. Uh, this is the clothes shop here. So let's have a look what things you can buy. I'm just I'm just giving you an example on how the game works really. Um you know, if you're watching this video and you're looking to see action and this really isn't the episode, this is just showing you you know, what what to expect on the game. Uh now you can buy things like hooks, hats, different hairstyles look. Peg legs, obviously, if you're a pirate. See, I've bought that shirt. 
I'm trying to go along with the Admiral setting, so I'm going to buy... I'm not going to buy that one. I'm going to buy the Ceremonial one because I like the red coats. Now, if I show you what the Ceremonial one looks like, you'll know exactly what I mean. Uh, there it is. See, it looks, it looks much nicer. So, I'll have that with that hat. I, I, I might go for a black hat, actually, because the black hat might go with that. Uh... And yeah, you can buy other hairstyles as well. Be it. So it's, di it's different things in there. I'm in the middle of a storm at the minute, so I I'm not really looking forward to go in just yet, but I will. Um, I'm just showing you everything first. Right, I think this is the way up on place. My favorite customer. So you can buy like uh, blunderbusses, pistols, uh, snipers, um, cutlasses. So th they're all pretty cool. I mean, you get um, the Admiral one there again. I don't think they have a ceremonial one. Oh, they do. They do. And that looks pretty nice. It does look pretty nice. I do like a normal black one, though, because I think that looks realistic. Or that one would do quite nicely. That one looks fine. Because um, you never really see blue and green guns. But obviously, this is just a game. Now this one money you can sell things like skulls to her, uh, magical stuff, she's like a bloody weirdo. And I'm trying to find the hoarder, I think he's in here. Now the hoarder gives you all the treasure um, to find and he pays you for it. Now when you first start the game, they cost nothing. Okay, they cost more as you level up because obviously the treasure is worth more. So these are 60 for example. Uh, so if I buy one now. Right, so Return I bought one. And we're going to go on, on, on the ship now. See the ship? Now you can get bigger ships called galleons. This is just a sloop. Just because I'm playing on my own. Now I'll show you how the lantern works now look. Um, pretty cool. Now this place you can buy upgrades for your ship. Hello you. The so I'll show you this. I'll show, I'll show you everything before we start off. So you, you've got a rough gist of the game. So you can buy like figureheads, um, coloured ships, sails and bits like that. There's not much Goodbye, on there customization for ships I. at the minute. But hopefully there will be, um, you know, in the, co in the coming months because like I said this game is getting really popular. Now this one now you can pick up stuff like exotic teas and um, chickens, box uh, crates of chickens. You can sell them to her because she's like a merchant. So you just come back here. Now you see the ladder on the ship? I'm going to try and jump on that like I do every time. There we are. So here going in the water, right? Now I'll show you how the ship works now. You can actually walk to the edge of the... Um, I forgot what this is called now, but I'll just call it the front thing for now. And I normally go up here just to see better because when you're going up and down the waves, you can't really see with the sail down, so I just leave the steering wheel straight and I come up here to see. Uh, you've got the two cannons on the sides, so what you do to reload them is you get your cannonballs. You can also put cannonballs over here, you start off with 20 in each. Uh, you can also store them, like I'm doing here. Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing, um, you know, putting too much on here because you don't need too much. You know, you're just wasting time, really. Um, so you load the cannonballs and you, you know, unfortunately when you got two on this ship. Now that's not the worst thing, but it's not the best either. So you come down to the next level of the ship. This is the armory, you can choose what weapons you have. So you start off with a basic blunderbuss, basic pistol, basic sniper and a basic cutlass. So you start off with the cutlass and the pistol, but you can change, you don't need to be any level, you can just change it in here. You can pick a sniper and change it to the pistol. So like you can see now. Um, and that crack indicates where the, where the sight is in the middle, where the two connect to the one. Uh, so that's how that works, and then you press try it Y then, I keep getting used to the PS4 controls, to change to the cutlass. Now, we'll go down here now. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's water down here. Um, 
So this is quite realistic. If it rains, water comes down here. And this is what you do. You just pick it up with the bucket. And you chuck it out of the ship. Uh, that gets rid of it then. Now, there's nothing in there. But this is where you put your voyage down. So what I just spoke to the hoarder about now. You put it down. You vote for the voyage. And then you hold down RB. The right bumper. And it gives you these two locations. So... I'm going to try and find out where these are. Right, so that's one of them, Lone Cove. I think that's the other one. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's the other one. So, literally, I just mark that. Zoom out. Once you've marked it, because I'll show you a cool thing you can do now. Right. Oh yes, sorry, I haven't showed it on the bottom just yet. Just checking we haven't got any holes in here. Like I said, we can just get water in here now and again anyway. The wooden planks are in the middle ones here. Now you can store them in there. Um, same as the bananas. And you have stuff like a vanity chest. You can change like the stuff you've got. Um, like your equipment. So like um, your peg legs and different things like that. Uh, your hooks. Here's your claws then. So you change them um, on the ship. And your equipment, so the buckets and the compasses. You can also think of fill up your tag tankers here for your beer. And you have a brig then, which you can vote like I'm doing now. Obviously there's no one on there, but it gives you the option to send someone to the brig. Uh, what I like to do as well, if I'm travelling in the night, is I turn all the lanterns off. You are able to. It just makes people... It just makes you less visible. Now, unfortunately, guys, I've got to go through that storm. So, to set sail, um, I normally pull up the anchor first. Make sure the sail is up so the boat doesn't move. Uh, now, the trick is, you can see behind you to where you're going. You don't need someone else to be playing. I quite like that feature there. Now, I'm just going to put the sail down here. The first one's to set the sail then. The one behind it then is to set the sail angle. Now, obviously, the wind's blowing against me, so i got to try and put it as far this way as I can. Now, we are going right into that storm, which I'm not liking the, like, uh, not liking the look of, because the water gets really bad and I can't see where I'm going exactly right, so I'm going straight that way as long as I keep a straight course now to where I'm going I'm absolutely fine I will start to feel the um, the wheel kind of move I'm going to try and put the sail over this way now hopefully the storm will move on Alright, that's not going to work. Right. Um, I think we're still going straight down. Yeah, that's right. I think that, that, I think that was it in front of us. But like I said, it, oh shit. Okay, like I said, it on about the compass move in and the wheel move in. Left. Yeah, you see how it works. I'm just going straight to you now. I gotta be careful because you will start to hear the ship break. Obviously the damage of the waves does break the ship. Now that is our island straight in front of us. Now we're actually going in this storm quite smoothly compared to normal. Um, so I'm hoping we get there with minimal mi minimal damage. That is the word I was looking for. Totally. So shit. Where is it gone? Where's it gone? 
yeah, the, yeah, the storms aren't quite um, are quite tough when it's just one to do. we go in now. I think it's over there slightly. I think that's it. Right, sugar. Right, as soon as the ship stops moving as much. Right, now is my opportunity to have a look. That is it. Okay, so this is the island literally right in front of us. I can leave the steering room in the street now we've passed the storm. Storm's over there now. Uh, so we'll go to this island here. Like I said, this episode I'm just showing you guys how it works. So basic, you know, treasure. A treasure thing. And how it works for selling them as well. Sugar. That's what, that's that's another thing about this game, like rocks will appear like that and you'll be thinking about the other you see them. Right, so this is the path where you have to be quick on your feet. With the anchor, I'm literally gonna pull it so we stop right at the side there. There we are. Should be alright here. Right, so it's literally along that side. Okay, so I'll show you how the sniper works now. Like I said, with the with the aiming. Now, uh, as you're aware, you can come up against sharks on this game. Let me show you how this works now. So, if I look on this map, now there's two rocks. Is that the one rock? It's true right in front of that tree. Here. No, no be a tree it's on top of me here and it's literally right here see if I'm right okay every time you dig as well you guarantee there's a skeleton that's gonna I don't normally like fighting my sword because uh, it is quite difficult. Like I, I, I don't like fighting with a sword. Uh, I, f I do find it difficult. Now we're just gonna dig this out. Now it does take a while. Like I said, I haven't bought any of the other shovels or anything. Now this is a seafarer's chest. There are all different types of chests. Like. Um, Right, this one chase. I mean, now the good thing is they can't go in the water. So as long as you're doing this, you're safe. Right, now the sharks, on the other hand, can swim faster than you when you're carrying a chest. So that is the thing. Right, so we're going to chuck this literally down here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what happens when you go in the storm as well. It fills up with water. Right, so we're going to have a little look now. We're going to Lone Cove next. So we'll unmark that. Mark Lone Cove. That is Lone Cove. 
right, so it's literally to our uh, the side. We should see it over there. It is. Okay. So we probably aren't grab. And we instantly run here. I'm going to try and turn before I hit that bloody thing. And I do manage to do it, luckily. And luckily, it's outside the storm. It's now sitting straight in front of us, so once you've marked your way, you can adjust the angle then to gain you know, as much speed as you can. So like there, that's, that's working for us. Um, I can't see any enemy ships, that's another thing we need to look out for. Because unfortunately, like I'm only on this game um, for finding treasure, there are others who are looking for the exact same thing as well. I don't know if it's the exact same treasure you're fighting for, but I know that people will kill you over it, and then they will try and steal your treasure, so... It's a good job, really, to just... stay clear of other pirates. Unless... unless you have a crew. Like, because it's just me, I wouldn't advise, like I wouldn't, um, shit, 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 shit. So let's have a look where I am. I'm possibly there. Oh, there's the rock. The first rock is there. The second rock is there. Right, I know where I am. Okay. I did park a bit far away over there. So I am in trouble of sharks. Are they serious? Is that seriously there? Okay, I just found a random chest. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the ship around and I'm going to come a little bit closer to the shore. Because, knowing my luck, I'm going to be eaten by a shark now. That is not exactly what I want. I know probably you're all thinking, oh yeah, I'd love to see the shark. I'm not trying to find the shark. Right, so we got two chests so far. So the other cool thing to do now to turn around, you put the sail up so you're not kind of getting any movement. And you just raise the anchor. And I'm going to turn this way, this, this, this is the way I fancy going. I'm going to try and pull into that beach there, as you can see. So then you just put your sail down the tad. There we are. Okay. So 
so now we're only here. So there's another simple way of just sorting out the treasure. Now, I've literally just got on the beach here, so if I go in this gap here, which I can see for there, come around this rock, there should be a sand path there, another sand path here, and I believe it's right in front of that bush, right there. There we are. Right, so guys, this is, you know, this is the basics of treasure hunting, um, the game, I should say. You literally do not have to do much. Um, now, the ones I hate finding are the, like, the notes that say are 10 paces north, or, because there's a few of them now, I found the right place, and they're saying I need, um, and they're saying it's wrong, so... Right, so I need to go basically back where I was. Let's do it while it's still light slightly. Because I don't fancy running into any skeletons. So I go back where I was earlier on. There I was. So it's just by the sand path here. Okay. Right, so we're doing quite well at the minute. I mean, we've got we've got quite a few chests. Um, now what normally seems to happen is a ship will, as I'm on my way back or something, a ship will kind of sink me. Uh, I'm not the best at fighting on here yet, I will admit that one. So I think it's still a bit confusing how it works as in labelling the enemy pirates, because it's not that simple. Now if I work out how far it is, roughly around that green around there. Okay, I am going to find this one. Even if it's in the dark. Okay, just in front of you. Unfortunately, guys, these are all the worst types of chests. Like, like I wouldn't say they're bad, but they are bad. But they they don't give you as much gold as like the other ones. Like I have I have had a few Catherine's chests, and the um, I forgot what the crying chests are called now. Well, I've had I've had a few of them. Yeah, there's a chest that basically cries. Uh, I've had one of them, and they pay you good money. They do. Right, so now that my ship is full of the treasure, don't think there's any more to find. Yeah, it's all done. Um, we can start planning a route back to an outpost, which is right here. I can probably see the lights anyway from up from above. Yeah, it's over there. They normally have all the lights on. Um, so I'm just going to turn the steering wheel away. And then I'm going to raise the anchor so it'll just kick off straight away. So let's get going. Waiting for the wind to pick up in my sail. You should see the sail move now. There it goes.
So we're literally going straight ahead now. Let's see how quick we're going now, because uh, the wind's in the sail. Picking up quite a bit of speed. I'll have just keeping out keeping an eye out for enemy ships as well. Because with the with this game, um many people are thinking, oh yeah, I can't wait to shoot other ships and do this and that. Uh there's a chance you probably will get killed. There's a probably good chance because there are a lot of better players than you and if you've got a team full of players who are sorry, they might cut everything. Um, yeah, if you've got a room full of or a thing full of players that are good at the game, then you are going to be absolutely bummed. Now I can't quite see where the enemies, not the enemies, the this for land is going to be. I'm guessing it's the middle of path there where all them lights are. So it makes it a bit harder at night as well. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to go in towards the beach right next to it. Because I don't plan on finishing this stream, uh, well, obviously I plan on finishing it, finishing this stream. What I meant by that was, I don't plan on, like, um, yeah, that's perfect. I plan on, like, finishing my game here, after I show you guys how all this works. So, we'll get up here now on top of that. And we'll jump off the side. And you go to the hoarder. Hoarder's always in a, in a tent. Um, this is the interest we left off, so it's in the same place. So we just sell it to this guy here. His name's Humphreys, so you just press X, look, and it sells. And it tells you how much you get up in the top. Like, I had 193 for that one. It used to be a bit worse. Um, you used to get about 90. I think they'd give you a little bit more, though, because people complain. I'm not exactly sure. Um, also, your level goes up every time you sell a chest with the holder. So, I'll show you again now. And I'll show you where it shows you. So, in the top, there's my money going up. And then, it should come up in, this, in the next, where that writing just was, my holder level. There we are, look, see? So I'm, I'm over halfway now to get to level 16. So the more chests you sell, you know, the better level you get. Bit of common sense there, really. Um, so we got a Marauder's chest. The Castaway chest, I think, give me the 191. So we'll see how much the Marauder chest gives now. And hopefully I get a bit more for that. Yeah, so that's 446. The Marauder chest is better than the Castaways. So, I think I've got another one of them, actually. So, that'll, that'll be quite decent. It hasn't made this episode a bit boring. Because I think the Captain one only gives you, like, 2,000. Oh, I know it's four times as much, but it's not, like... It's not a whole lot amount. The Seafarer's chest is another one that I don't think is quite good. But it's better than nothing. Now, after you've sold all these to Herbert, or Humphreys, like you call him Herbert, because that's my favourite one. So I like the name. So it's 178. So I don't know, just use a cannon or something. Might be wrong though. I think I've sold every chest. No, I haven't. There's one more. Seafarers. Alright, so we'll go back to Humphreys and I'll sell this and then I'll show you what you would do next then because I'm going to end the episode near enough here. So that's gone up quite a bit as well, you've got 234. So I've gone up to 8,500 coins. 
and what you simply do then is you look with RB, you haven't got any. So you can just go up to him, Greetings, talk to him, Hunter. browse, and you he can offer you more then, so you can buy more maps. You can also have the option, I'm not sure what level you have to be, is to buy the hoarders equipment, they are cheaper than the standard ones. You can buy in the shop. I mean, this is 1,000 and that's 1,000, so it's a lot cheaper and it looks better than the ones you got. Now, this game was just a brief, you know, insight to how everything works. And I hope you've enjoyed it, because I know I have. I mean, it's the first time I am got shot at. But, and I've managed to get quite a bit of loot. Now, if you want any certain videos done, you know, how to do this, how to do that, please write in the uh, comments and I will try my best to do them. And I will be doing a series on, you know, my adventures on the game. So every time I play, I'll probably be streaming. And I'll add them all into a playlist then, you know, different parts. And you can see how I get on with the game. Because I did run into the Kraken once. Um, that's another object that's on you. You've got sharks, you've got krakens. And you've got mermaids. Now the mermaids are quite good because you fall off your ship in the middle of the sea. A mermaid will appear. You swim up to the mermaid and he'll take you back to your ship. Sharks and the kraken on the other hand are evil. Now the sharks just lurking about in the water. Um, they will kill you. And the kraken I've only run into once luckily. And he killed me. Uh, because I was having food. And my crew must have left the game. I was on a galleon, the four-man ship. And I got off... Well, I got back on the Xbox. And I heard this weird music. So I was like, oh, okay. What's, what's this? Someone's playing music upstairs, is it? So I went up to the top deck. And I, and I noticed all these tentacles hanging out of the water. The water was dark and everything. I thought, oh, shit. Why me? And then I got onto, I got onto a cannon straight away, you know, hoping to kind of do something. The Kraken picked me up as soon as I got on the on the bloody the cannon and he started swallowing me. Um, so I wouldn't advise you, to, you know, find the Kraken or want to find him because he's pure evil. I'll show you a shark though before I go. Um, if I can. Just because I can. And then you can see, because uh, you're probably thinking in this game with Romulo's trying to run away from him. Oh, come on, a shark eat them, shark eat them. So I will, I, w I will let a shark eat me now, guys. Just for you. If I can find one, that is. I can't see one though, it's a bit odd. Very odd actually. Okay, so we're just gonna literally keep swimming this way until we find one. I said I'm going to find one, and I'm going to find one. There he is. Shit. Right, so I killed that one. Now I'm drowning. Well, there should be another one coming somewhere. There's normally a few of them. Come on, crack ah, uh, not cracking, sharky. Can't really find another shark. 
Um, I don't think anyone want to come out to play. They must have seen their friend get killed and thought, oh, bugger this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep trying to find one because I'm gonna get my character killed just for you guys. I can't find one yet. <laughs> Normally, there's loads on here, which is why I don't quite understand. Like, don't think I'm just saying that now. There normally is quite a few sharks in here. Okay. Um, I keep going towards the bloody sh shore. Now, if I keep going this direction, there's one. Yeah, they don't look very good, do they? Is he going to eat me or what? Mate, I'm waiting here if you eat me. Right, there we are. He ate me as I swung by his mouth, so it took, it took a bit of convincing to do, but he ate me anyway. Now, thank you guys for watching. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Last little part, the Fairy of the Dam. This is where you go when you die, okay? I forgot to show you this. Now, this is just like, you can't get off it, I have tried. Um, you stay on here. See that door there? That breaks open after a while. You can walk through and it'll take you back to the world then. Uh, but this is where you go when all the players die. There's only one. So if other players die, they can come in here too. And you can see each other. Uh, now, that sound, that's it broken open. So you just walk through it. And I'll show you how you respawn. And then I'll end the stream. Just so you get kind of a brief idea how this works. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's quite cool the fact that when you die, you don't lose anything. So like, I don't lose any money. I don't lose my equipment or anything. Uh, so I can just keep that repeating the dying process if I wanted to and I'd still be eight and a half thousand coins I still have all my clothes my weapons I could just do it for fun so I can hear the master my ship breaking now as I'm loading in it, d it does take about 20 seconds or yeah so I'm back on my ship in the exact place I left it this is another thing you look I've got I managed to get the ship stuck in here now what you can do is, if I get off here and I press the options button if you go on my crew, go down to the bottom, look, you can scuttle the ship so if you scuttle the ship it sinks the ship or it should sink the ship The ship could be sinking. Let's go and check. Yeah, see the water coming in. I can't climb up the mast, so it's too late. Unfortunately. The ship will kind of reverse itself out here as it's falling down. Right, so I can't get up here, so I can show you from up here. That's kind of what happens and it just sinks and it follows down on the slope sink again. And then the ship will respawn somewhere. Now, this has given me a good opportunity to show you the mermaid as well and then that's, that's literally it. I can show you because I, I can go out and find a crack in but that'll take me ages. Like I said, I've only run into it once. Now the ship should disappear and you should hear weird sound. There she is, the mermaid. So what you do is you swim over to the mermaid, like so. 
much I know, my like a shark leaped me on the way, even though I was trying to find one for ages. So we go over to the mermaid and hold down X and she'll take you straight back to your ship. It's normally a he, but in this case it's a she. Okay. So she should take you back to your ship. Uh, I can't remember if you start on the ship or off. So there's a few times where like I've spawned in the middle of nowhere and then I've had to get another mermaid back to my ship. I don't know whether that's a common thing on this game yet. So as you can see the mermaid's taking me here. My ship's there. Uh, and it's absolutely fine. So I'm ready to go again now for my next adventure. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you liked. Please like this video, please subscribe for more, and comment, like I said, if you want to see anything special going on. Thank you very much, guys.